And still on football, Diambar's Academy in Senegal is recognized as, well as one of the best football talent factories in Africa. Founded in 2003, the 20-year-old academy has produced some of the biggest names in Senegal football. Former France international Patrick Vieira and Bernard Lamar, who is a former national football team Arambe Stars coach, teamed up with Jimmy Ajovi and Sayer Sek to come up with a facility. Our very own Michael Kini was in Senegal recently and tells us more. The most famous city in Senegal is Dakar, a busy place where football is played mostly on sandy pitches. 87 kilometers south of Dakar is Sali, a famous beach holiday resort for tourists. But it is also the home of Diamba's Academy, the football factory of Senegal. Senegal are the current Africa champions, also beach football champions of Africa, and Chan champions, the Africa Cup for home-based players. Diambas in local Wolof language means warriors. The entrance to the academy oozes of success, with the alumni's photos and jerseys decorating the walls. The academy combines football and education, classes starting at 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., then the players break for lunch and rest. Football training kicks off at 5 p.m. when the temperatures are cool. The idea of Diambas came about after the founding president, Saez Sek, was unimpressed with the Senegal national team results. Football standards were dropping at an alarming rate and he had to do something. <coughs> it's the only way to have really uh, uh, good talents, uh, plenty players that have a good level, that integrate the uh, modern football in Europe and have the level to, when we gather them, to have really a good national team. Despite starting from humble beginnings with no hostels or school block, the academy now boasts of a complete school with accommodation for 90 players in the hostels. The hostels have fully furnished rooms, some accommodating three players, others accommodating two players. They have a fully equipped dining hall in each hostel block. One of the reasons why Diambas Academy is one of the best in Africa, if not across the world, is because they have the facilities. They have five artificial turf pitches and only one natural grass pitch, but all are being used by the teams that come here. It also has a fully equipped gym, which can be used by the locals as well. It is estimated that the Diambas complex cost upwards of 218 million shillings to set up. The challenging years were between 2003 and 2013. It had been very tough the 10 first years, but now the economical model is working well. And uh, we, as, we as promoters, we don't need more to put money uh, in, the, in, the, in, in, the, in the academy. Their success rate is impressive. They had eight alumni in the Senegal 2018 World Cup squad, five players in the AFCON winning team and quite a number of players in Europe. 45 players have turned pro with their notable exports being Idrissa Ganagé of Everton in the English Premier League, Papa Suare who played for Crystal Palace in the English Premier League, Karamboj who played for Nantes in France and Joseph Lopi who played for Sochaux in France just to mention a few. But the president says their greatest success is off the football pitch. We had one boy who did not, who never went at school, who came here and uh, uh, went to school to a classroom the first time here in Jambars in November 2003, who is now an engineer in telecom telecommunications. Diambas runs on an economic model of three pillars. They have investors and sponsors who put in money in the academy. Then they also rent out the facilities to generate some income. Aspire Academy of Qatar was a good client with the Africa Rising Stars program that also had Kenyan players like Halid Juman, Timona Wanyonyi, Festo Omukoto and Mohamed Katana Agogo. We, we uh, gave them all accommodations, training pitches, etc. But Aspire was um, an entire model with their trainers, with their, uh, their, 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 their survey. The third economic pillar is signing up players where they have the rights to the player coming off the academy. With the high success rate, one would expect that the FIFA solidarity payments and training compensation will generate some good income. But that's not the case. Because when you hear 
uh, one of your players that is transferred for 100 million euros and uh, you don't have back uh, less than 200,000 euros, it's not enough. SEC says they are not willing to start a program for girls just yet because of the risks involved in putting young boys and girls in one space. But they have ventured into basketball as well, partnering with the NBA to set up a basketball academy with two indoor courts. SEC's advice to Africa countries is to start small and build at least two Diamba-type academies across Africa. And in 10 years, Africa will win the FIFA World Cup. Michael Kenyi for Citizen TV.